Hi everyone, today we're going to go through the menu and the settings of the Dream Crane 2S. Let's get started. Alright, we'll start with the activation. When you first get your gimbal, it will prompt to ask you to activate it. Just follow the steps shown on the screen. It will ask you for an activation. You might need to sign up for an ZY Play account if you don't have one already. And see if it asks you for a firmware update. In our case, it does. Do note though, this is a two-way process. First, you're downloading the firmware. Then, you connect to your gimbal but don't enter and you install the firmware you just downloaded. After that, your firmware update is successful. On the direction wheel, press down to get into the menus. Press left or right to go back or into a setting. First, we got motor. Here, you can let it calibrate automatically. Or you can do some custom settings for each axis, tilt, roll, and pan. And also level. Here you can select the strength of the motor. Low is suitable for like smaller cameras such as Sony a6400. And high is, for example, perfectly suited for cameras like Canon 1DX or EMPCC 4K. Then we got camera. Here you can choose the camera that you're using, so you can gain the access to its iris control, shutter speed, ISO, and also start and stop. And do note that there is one which is called CCS. You want to select this one if you're using the image transmitter and you want to control it remotely. Then we got advanced. Here you can do some fine tuning. So we got speed, smooth, and desk band. Speed is how fast the gimbal turns. Smooth is how gentle it eases in or out of a movement. And dead band is at which moment it will start turning, sensitivity of reaction to your hand's movement, like a reaction window. And of course, if you adjusted them too crazy, you can always go back to default to reset it. Then we got focus. Here you can adjust settings of the focus module and zoom module. So in the focus module, we can see that we can change its sensitivity, its AB point, reverse control, and upgrade. The sensitivity is basically how fast it turns in relation to your focus wheel movements. If you want the focus module to react faster, then select high. If you want the focus module to react slower, then select low. AV points are perfect for lenses that don't have hard stops. So you can set the A to the most closest point and B to infinity. And then if you do the focus control, it'll be way easier. And also you can of course clear them once you have put on another lens and need to redo the AV point. Then we got reverse. If you are more into it to have the focus wheel direction different, then you can choose this one. Lastly, we got upgrade so you can update the firmware of your focus module. Then let's go into zoom. In zoom, it's basically exactly the same like in focus. You also got the sensitivity, AV points, reverse, and upgrade. Then we have wheel. Under the function, we can select what it does. The wheel either, like currently, turns the focus, or the zoom, or it can even do electronic focus, which is amazing. Lenses such as Panasonic 12-35 attached to the GH5S, these are actually also electronically focusable. This one can actually also be used via e-focus. So you don't even need to attach a focus module onto your camera and you can directly control the focus through the camera control cable. Or you can also just turn it off. Then we got priority. If you want to use the handle or an external controller like this one, Then of course, same thing, you can also select reverse if you want to have the other direction. 
Then we got key. It's basically this front one, the F mode key. Under the trigger, you can see you can either do it like hold, so you only activate it if you hold it, or click, so you just activate it once, or hold slash click. No matter what you do, you will be able to access the F mode. Then we got joystick, which only has one lonely setting, which is reverse. So you can also reverse direction if needed. Then we got calibrate, something very important to do after a firmware upgrade. But for that, we have a specific tutorial. Then we got angle. Here you can see pitch and roll settings are available for fine tuning. This is because if you are using different quick release base plates, it might be a little bit non-level. So you can use these to fine tweak. Lastly, we got 语言设置, which actually should be in English called language. And here you can change the language to Chinese or English. At the end, we have about. Under about, you can see the firmware number of your Crane 2S. And with that, you should be able to know if you need to upgrade your firmware or not. With some cameras, you don't see the live view image directly on your screen. So with this button, you can enable it. All right, that's all. Hopefully that has helped. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And also consider subscribing to this channel to see more awesome content, especially tutorials on the Dream Crane 2S.